We have a new development in this mystery. Can you bring us up to date on what the French embassy is now saying about a possible, about a possible missile? Well, they're saying that there was no uh, military activity, missile or otherwise, at the time that the people of Harbor Mill, Newfoundland, would have seen something in the sky above them. UFO sightings aren't just for farmers anymore. It turns out Vancouver leads the country when it comes to spotting mysterious objects. Weather will be object. good for some UFO watching. Moving lights, or UFOs. If there was a missile up there or a rocket, it wasn't there. We have a new development in this mystery. Green light was seen over when it has it from Ottawa. Hi there, Tom. Weather will be good for some... What was it, and who did it belong to? Uh, bonjour, je m'appelle Moore, je suis un wizard, actif monstre qui vivait dans Ottawa, Canada. Um, je suis bilingue dans deux langues, français et espagnol. Je connais un peu d'anglais. Je comprendrai le mot en anglais, mais je ne sais pas pour parler en anglais, tu sais. So, Moore, how did you get here? To Earth, I mean. Mon partenaire, Jean, à l'origine, plané partir à la planète Jupiter. Planète Jupiter est très frais et dynamique et Jupiter a quatre maturé lune. Dans la troisième lune de Jupiter, à Mafia, il y a une grande quantité de nouveaux or. Nouveau or! Jean et moi sommes les plus curieux de l'or. Nous louons un vaisseau spatial et allons à Jupiter. Mais dans le milieu de le voyage, un astéroïde pénible agressait notre vaisseau spatial et le coordonnant de Jupiter remplacé avec le coordonnant de planète Terre. Quand nous arrivons dans le bloc Terre, moi et Jean ont été confus. Moi et Jean décidons de explorer la planète Terre. Mais quand le vaisseau spatial arrive dans l'atmosphère, le vaisseau spatial commence un feu. Quand le vaisseau spatial percute dans la forêt, j'ai plus de chance. Je dirige par Sava de le vaisseau spatial. Mon ami Jean, mon ami Jean, mon jeune ami, il, il est mort. Jean a été un bon personne. Uh, il a été intelligent, heureux et très gentil. Are you alright, Moore? Oui, je suis ok. What special abilities do you have? After all, you don't come from Earth. J'ai de un peu de spéciales aptitudes, mais je ne sais pas comment les aptitudes travaillent. That's interesting. An alien has special abilities, but isn't so sure about it. Thankfully, Moore gave me a bit of his blood sample, and I decide to go to Professor Elizabeth Watkins from the local university to see what information I can collect. So, uh, never in 74 years at this university have uh, we encountered such an odd creature. Um... I personally have noticed that it has larger red blood cells and uh, than a regular man, of course. And this could possibly mean that it is stronger or it lives longer. We are unsure. Um, yes, uh, it has three layers of skin. Um, the bottom being, we aren't sure, but we're pretty certain that it is used as just regular tissue to protect um, like a regular person but the second layer has a specific um, defense mechanism um, it is very strong almost shell like and the third layer uh, it has beautiful hair on top it's almost decorative in a way um, yes the, th the second layer of skin it has its defense mechanism it's a uh, it's almost healing. Uh, what was our specimen's name again? Uh, Moore. Moore, Moore, yes. Uh, Moore, he has a special healing ability from this layer of skin, we believe. It, um, it allows him to almost, like, never die. It's almost like a, a wolverine. You mean the creature that lives in the north? Uh, no, 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 I mean like a Hugh Jackman. Oh, the Marvel, you know, from the X-Men franchise? Yeah. Is that what these kids call it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yes, we believe he is able to heal himself in a way that no other specimen we've been able to see on this planet has. But even after these scans and of his DNA and everything, he is still considered incredibly dangerous. Dangerous? Dangerous? Oui, mon special aptitude est un peu contestable, mais je suis une bonne personne. 
je suis un pacifiste. Dans ma plan de domicile, je n'ai pas commis un crime illégal. Et l'accident qui passe un mois avant, sans moi est un accident. Faire confiance en moi. Sadly, not all people believe in more. A survey from Statistics Canada was sent in our nation's capital, Ottawa, if yes or no is this creature dangerous, questionable, or hazardous to our environment or day-to-day -day life. Unfortunately, to more, 89% of Ottawa citizens responded with a landslide of yeses. This also includes Georgia LeBlanc. What happened was me and my sister, George, me and my sister Terry, was on a sort of vacation, and I'm pretty sure it was Victoria Day that weekend. Anyway, uh, my sister was on a camping trip, and kind of in the northern Gatineau region. But I remember seeing her for the last time alive. She was breathing, she was happy, healthy. And I clearly remember that it was a sunny day, and that day, and I remember that after I walked out of my house. Um, and then the next day, it was a very gloomy day, like a huge change. And all I wanted to do was stay in bed. I had a nasty hangover, you don't want to know. And I was exhausted. And when I climbed out of bed and uh, I heard the doorbell go, I opened the door and there was police officers. Uh, and I thought like, oh man, what is this? I, I like, didn't drive drunk or anything. I had a designated driver. I was safe. What are they here for? So it turns out they told me that my sister had died. She was on the road, and she got hit, and she swerved, and she got impaled in the neck with the metal pole, and she bled out. So, uh, Georgia, on the scene of the crime, um, was there any like proof of extraterrestrial beings, like from out of this world kind of thing? I was told there was. Um, apparently the RCMP found some footage or something. I'm not really sure how, but I don't really... Like, they did. They found footage of extraterrestrial beings. Uh, would you consider a lawsuit um, on this extraterrestrial being, perhaps? I would, yes. They, they need to learn and they need to be punished for what they've done. And they won't go through really the legal system, so this is the best I can do. I just want justice. Keeping her word, Georgia LeBlanc filed a motion of a legal court case one week before the official school year ends. Sadly for more, the Canadian government decided that he would be deported back to the place he belonged, to his home planet. Explosion! Explosion! Mad explosion! Je suis très malheur et fâché. Je pense que le gouvernement de Canada est très généreux et gentil. Mais non! Tout le monde de la jury est très impulsif, passif et arrogant. Putain le jury! Grr! Merde, 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 merde! Ouh, je suis un peu fatigué. So, um, who's going to pay for the trip of your deportation? The administration de immigration va payer tout le coût de transport et alimentation.
think extraterrestrials really care about being sued. And it went <laughs> <laughs>